How's it going guys? Welcome back to this one. We've come out for a little trip down to Shirley Aquatics. Just to give you a bit of an idea, that's the kind of parking area that you've got. Plenty of space, so get yourselves down here guys. We're going to go in and have a look around, see what we think to it guys. Catch us in a bit. So, on the entrance guys, you're greeted by an outside outdoor pond with a feature in it. Some smaller plants, or planted areas with lots of lilies and such and pretty much every form of plant you could think of for your ponds or your aquatic you're right mate yeah, your, aqu your aquatic areas absolutely loads to choose from these are nice I like these urns this type of thing but again we just thought we'd have a quick nosy around just show you all this on the entrance there's lots to see before you even get in there but look at that for a A showpiece for the entrance to your store. That is absolutely fantastic. Look at the size of those arowanas in there. Absolutely stunning. A nice big arowana. Can I do it now? Look at that. Can you see another one in there? Can you spot it? It's one of the rest. Stunning. Yeah. That's a nice entrance to a shop, isn't it, that? Yeah. See the stingray gas? Yeah. Cool, that. Another one of the tail. The one. That looks like I never heard. So, the little tanks. Thank you. Some nano tanks, some reptiles as well. <laughs> Little stick insects They're somewhere in there and down here in the leaf foliage. There are plenty of little stick insects. Now look at that. <laughs> look at our dad's spotted. Different colour morph, I've not seen one like that before. We've got Daz and Dave with us on his road trip. We were out and about for a few areas today. Out about. Usual thing guys, dry goods everywhere. Now Vince's favourite, Takazuma. And these guys, if you're not feeding these to your fish, you really need to be doing freshwater shrimp, mealworms, shrimp, and silkworm. They absolutely love them. You name it, pretty much everything that you can think of every medicoy, a carry staple. better pond foods, the carry friend, tropical side of things, plants, sorry, oh you're alright, fine. Little potted plants and such, smaller little mosses. So everything. We've got a good selection of uh, tropical stuff. All the shrimps. And again, more potted plants. Very clean as well. I really like these. These are little nano tanks. These are sweet. Yeah, they're lovely, aren't they? Especially when they're planted up. Yeah, just a single fish in Nice there. little better in there. Yeah, they look nice, don't they? Yeah. Little molly in that one. Yeah, they made some nice features out of them. They look cool, like this, yeah. with the open top. That's nice, I like that. Nubis. 
but it's not the Nubus Petite, that's the, the one that I've got in my tank, the Nubus is a different, sort of larger version of it. Yeah. Now look at these. Yeah, I don't know. There we go. <laughs> yeah. uh, some fancy Dolphins goldfish, which was featured on uh, last Thursday's uh, Thursday Night Live. Some nice examples in there. Yeah, They're nice. nice. Yeah, that's pretty, that. Yeah. Ryukin, are they? Yeah. And the Arandas? Yeah. And again. I've got got these as well. I've noticed some of my Arandas, they get like a bit of white. Yeah, we're in the folds and the yeah. creases of the of the, the sort of the, of, of the when, yeah, that's the one. There we go. <laughs> Listen to us with all the technical info now. Thanks to Ricky from New Forest Guy. <laughs> well, that's already new, Mike, but I didn't know half the names. And again, some more here again. Nice little red cap down there. Yeah. I've got to get a few red caps to mix in with my life. Two lines. One of your cheapest tanchos you're going to get. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not been cut either. Yeah. Another nice one there. Yeah. Look at these one telescopes. Yeah, um, that, that one of mine still makes them look that, that looks half yeah. the size of that, doesn't it? Yeah. What I give you, I give one to Daz. It's literally about as big as as big as palm your hand like that. It's a massive thing. <laughs> Hopefully, it's in the breeding project for his next stuff. Yeah. And then we've got a whole tropical and marine section as well. Everyone's talking about insect the future. And some ranchos of all sorts of sizes now i was watching my wife sent me a little video over there and it was literally ranchos playing football yeah a, a tank with a little pitch on it they dropped a ball in and the fish nudged it into the goals yeah it looked wicked they do it with moss balls as well yeah. so we've got all the uh, live foods mealworms crickets no it's pretty fine look it's all right as long as you uh, don't mind him being on it Locust. Bean weevil culture. Oh, when I used to have my uh, bearded dragon, we once had a whole box of these escape into his living room. God, yeah. there were crickets going around everywhere for fucking days. It was horrible. You hear them chirping. Yeah. <laughs> Get your skin crawl. Yeah. Yeah, you never do find one. Just wait them to die all day. We'll, we'll have a quick walk through the uh, tropical and marine, and then we'll have a quick look into the uh, the other bit in there, which is all the reptiles. But look at this, orchid oh, corals in here. Absolutely beautiful. Do you do any of your own cultures? Um, all these ones here, frags from upstairs. The frags that you do yourself, yeah. yeah cool. Upstairs. Look at that. I don't know if we'll get that better through the glass, but yeah. the colours on them Amazing, sweet, aren't, aren't they? Look at this. They don't take long though to grow to some yeah. quite a lot bigger. That's cool that you do your own. Um... Yeah, sweet. <laughs> uh, I'd love a marine tank, I really would. We've still got the time to. So there you go, Seska. Check this place out. We've got some beautiful uh, examples of. No, you have, have you? She'll come out. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's <laughs> one that they, they, they punch out, don't they? Yeah. To stun the prey. Look at that. Look at the colours. Nice, sweet. Yeah, little hermit crabs as well. Flame scallops. Sally Lightfoot crab, small. I wonder what that one is. One of these little dudes in there, look. That's a nice one, that dark red. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they've got me and they've got white spots on. Yeah, <laughs> I 
Ah, oh, that's sweet. Yeah. What's the steak? I don't know. It's I think. Got coral, is it? got one right there. It's I think it's just a, a just a fluorescent light that gives well, or something to show the difference of the fluorescent colours that they use with the lighting that they've got. I think, but let me know. If anybody knows any difference? Comment below. Some of them are stunning. Look, absolutely beautiful. You could look at them just without anything on, couldn't you? Yeah. yeah. So, they're everyday trucks. Red tuxedo, tuxedo, pseudo platys. Mickey Mouse. Blue Mickey Mouse. Kahaka guppies. Lovely little fish, them. All the guppies that they've got in stocks there. We've got all the types of barbs, tiger barbs, black ruby barbs, green barbs, goldens, crebences. I think they got they call these rainbow something or other, I think. There are some other barbs in there as well with them, and a little female crebences. Super rosy barbs, Odessas, white cloud mountain minnows, really nice then. You actually encourage those to breed by putting ice in your tanks because they breed when the fall of the winter comes through the, the mountain rivers. A little plaque in the back. Bulldog plaques, they're nice, I like them. Look a little different. Again, We've got the gold mountain minnows and then your standard ones, which are these Lyra tails with slightly bigger tails to them, bigger finnage. And then uh, zebra danios, all cold water fish. Some pearl danos, really nice these. These can grow to a good size too. There you go, Mike. There's some more uh, red comet platters there, like you've got in your tank, mate. Some beautiful fish. Really look nice and a good shoal in a tank with uh, with angels. That's what Mike's got in his, and they look absolutely stunning. More guppies. Uh, sorry, uh, mollies, sail fins. The male has a big, big fin that sticks up on his top when he's displaying to the female and pops his fin right up and does a little dance for it. Look at these marine fish, absolutely stunning. That's some beautiful clownfish. There's some absolute beauties, isn't there? Look at them. The white clownfish, nice. Absolutely beautiful. With marine, there's way more colours and way more patterns in them, isn't there? What you would get with your, with your, your tropicals, the, co the colours are so much more vibrant. I like these, mate. Pretty, then. Very nice. Nice as well. Damsels. Beautiful contrast. Yeah. Black is black, that though, isn't it? That is some seriously deep colour. Wow, impressed. The marines are beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's, I thought that was reflecting off the glass then for a side. There's actually two. Oh, they're stunning. Yeah. Almost an electric purple, isn't it? Yeah. That, that is beautiful. Yeah.
That's nice. I like the faces, mate. Is that a parrot fish? It does look like one. Trigger fish. What is it? Is it a trigger fish? Blue throat yeah. trigger, yeah. yeah. That's nice. I like that. That's cool. Jam themselves in rocks or crevices. That's kind of cute, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, look. Lion fishing oh, back wow. as well. Sweet. And again, another one up there in the top corner. Well, apparently so, yeah. Wow, wow. Look at them discus. Nice. They're nice. Wow. Yeah. They're beautiful. Still amazes me how the babies, when they spawn, how the babies, when they hatch, they feed from the parents by eating the mucus layer off the body. As a, as a small, and obviously as they get a little bit bigger, then they, they, they stop like, but the first few meals that they get for the first few days is eating the mucus layer off the parents. I just thought the parents looked after it, realised. Yeah, they feed upon them, yeah. Look at those, look at them. Wow. Tanks, spotless. Glass, clean, no marks, not even run marks down glass. Absolutely spotless. And a heck of a lot of variety to choose from. Yeah. Spotted puffers. A little spotted puffers. Late Malawi cichlids. Yeah. Old peacocks. <laughs> I like the yellow labs me. Yeah. They're really nice. Parrot fish. Again. Some more discus. But tanks are beautiful. Also, the whoa, look at that. That's nice. These fellas are big as well. Aren't they? Look at them, size of them. Nice, that, isn't it? Sold though, mate. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Is that a fish sold as well? Yeah, I think, well, it says all sold. Oh, yeah, that's all. Sold or reserved, you can see why. Oh, look at it top side on there. Yeah, it is. It's like a sanky catfish. <laughs> Check this out. A wine I saw there for our little Ted. He'd have loved that. He would have done. And they're the puffers that I put in my tank, them little ones like that. Oh, you got the little uh, pygmy puffer? Yeah. It's like twice the size of that now, man. Some Congo frogs. That is nice, but it's, it's, it's blending with the blue in it as a background yeah, yeah. from the light. Of... Look at that, look at the blue in that. That's beautiful. Yeah, it is. Again, a lot to do with the lighting, but when you've got that light in your tank, it's going to look absolutely stunning. All the tetras, rummy nose, Congo tetra. Ooh. We've got. Uh, Get the name. What are they called? 
these I forgot the name of them. Oh Rams, Bolivian yeah. Rams. I like them. They don't live very long though, do they? I didn't realise they're going to live about two years. Yeah, a lot of tropicals don't live a long, long time. Again, some more rams there. Golden rams. Yeah, that's a very good selection of tropicals, marine and cold water. Garamis, dwarfs. And then we've got all the angels. I'm guessing maybe these might be a relatively new stocking because they're not lit up these ones, so they might, might not be for all. Oh, wow, look at them. Some nice little angels in there. That one's pretty. Yeah. And then we're back round to the uh, Feed a shrimp. You can just see them in the bottom there. A little shrimp for feeding your uh, marine. And again, back to the corals. Thank you, ladies. So, absolutely massive stall. Absolutely everything you can think of in here. All your foods. Treats, you name it, tropical cold, lighting for your ponds. Treatments and such. You name it guys, they pretty much got it in here. Filtration systems, well that's it. Pretty much got everything you can think of. Oh, does on bikes. <laughs> yeah. He did a new one. Yeah. Just been telling us he's bent his heart. He's yeah. give up the go. <laughs> give up on him yesterday. All your pumps, Pontex, you name it. We'll have a quick look through the uh, reptile section. Pretty cool. There we go. Little tortoises. Oh, wow. Check that out. Big spider in there. Oh, they give me heebie-jeebies. Don't mind little everyday ones, but. Oh, look at that. <laughs> cool. Boa constrictor. That's quite a big snake, isn't it? This is a boa. There we go. There's a little bearded dragon. So I used to have years ago. More like this colour one up there. Lovely little pets then. Little geckos. Oh, and another Royal Python. Just moving around in tank in there. That python there, look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, the hog nose are beautiful, Dad. Yeah. They only grow to about three foot long. I suppose the only hog nose I know is a vicross, is not even one of them. There we go, another little one there. 
bearded dragon. We had we had one for about uh, I don't know, maybe about eight nine years. Get it lost as you got egg bound. Some terrapins. Is it a terrapin? Gecko. Some more little snakes down there again. <laughs> so, this is just the ground floor. And this is just the shop entrance, the cold water goldfish section and fancy, and uh, tropical and marine, and then the reptile section. So quite a good, impressed. Pretty much everything you can see. Daz over there in his element, loves all this kind of stuff. That'll do down there, chowing down on some. <laughs> Yeah. So we'll have a quick through the cold water section. Have a look. Mirror cap. It does. Hello, mirror cap. Oops, staging. Fish, bumpkins, all water fish, some nice ones in there. Some of the bigger koi. Deep body of water, them, aren't they? Look at that. Hello. <laughs> That's all. all sold. Some money in there, isn't there? They're all sold. Look at that. Right. We'll go this way. I'll spin that way around. We'll look at the old camera. The blue off. Is really coy. Butterfly. Featured on Thursday night again. Some of the smaller little Israelis. You can actually feed the fish as well for a pound, which is pretty cool. Good for kids to enjoy. Some more of the staging over here and some shabubkins. Admittedly, that does look pretty cool, that. Nice 
I shoot all that. Nice high at Suri there, that's nice. Like that. There's a nice Ginrin Shuru at Suri there too by the window. That Ginrin's nice, isn't it? The Shuru at Suri there. It's a nice fish. Nice to Jacku. Check this out, Mike. Recognize that Goshke? And do you recognize that show of Mick? Because that's Rom's. <laughs> We've got to see him first hand here in shop. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Got to have a window, guys, if you rebuild. Oh, God, don't do it, Dave. <laughs> That is beautiful. Yeah. It's so tall if you fancy for one. Yeah. Yeah. And you probably wouldn't buy one. No. Who boy offered us the um Goshki. Goshki all day long. Absolutely stunning. Would you like this? There's me reading them earlier saying all sold. Not all so. We belong to this gentleman. <laughs> Look at that, Mike. Look at that, Goshke. That is popping, mate. As seen on the uh, Koi show, not last weekend, the weekend before. And there it is, in the flesh. Again. That's like in the uh, Mariana there, right? Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. So that rum's quite a nice guy. So there you go guys. That is Shirley Aquatics. Get yourselves down here. It's a lovely fish to look at. And we even got to bump into Ron. And we've spent many a time talking about his fish from the Koi Show, from down what's the Birmingham Well we saw him at the Birmingham Birmingham Koi Show. That was two years ago and then we just seen it and it's taken a lot of prizes down at the commentary show last weekend, the weekend before. So that was cool. The usual thing, guys, if you're enjoying this kind of content, do us a huge favour. Like, share, subscribe. Tell a friend. Until next time. Come on, Dave. Get in. Dos. Keep smiling, guys. Keep smiling. We'll see you on the next one. <laughs>